What up guys, it's Robo Penguin here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Minecraft outro. I'm sure there's much more complicated ways to make them, but this one I'm going to show you is probably the simplest. St still cool though. Alright, first thing you will want to do is, if you don't already, get Sony Vegas and get the free Photoshop software known as GIMP. After you've got those, you just want to go to any search engine, type in Minecraft Skin Viewer. And there it is right there. It's on Minecraft form. Let that load. You just want to scroll down. And you want to click download on this Steve's head. After you've got Minecraft Skin Viewer, you want to find a background. Pretty much what I do is I type in Minecraft back backgrounds simple basic I found this one right here you want to click view original image save image as um I want to save it in this folder and I guess we'll keep it that save once you got minecraft skin viewer downloaded and you can most likely pop up in winrar if you have it open that up Alright, then you just want to type in your skin. And I got my skin right here. So you just want to go open up GIMP and you want to create a new file 1280 by 720. That's the size of the screen on YouTube. So that's how big your outro will be. You want to click OK. Sometimes what I like to do is to shrink to image, which is you press minus on the keyboard, makes it where you can see the whole area. And oh yeah, you want to import your or open as layers. You want to open up your background. Oh, there it is. Okay, it should be about this size, depending on how big the image is when you saved it. You just want to shrink it or make it larger to where it'll fit the screen. Alright. I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit. Alright. Next thing you want to do is position your dude any way you want. In this case, I'm gonna do like what I did in my original outro. I'll kind of make them look up in the sky. Alright, I think that's pretty good. And for those of you who just downloaded, you want to go to background and transparent and make it where only the skin is showing. After that's done, you want to save your image. Open back up GIMP. Then you just want to import your skin. One skin one. There it goes. See? Got a little peaceful robo penguin. You want to get the navigation tool and you can lower them to however you want him to be. I guess that looks good. Next thing you want to do is go back to your search engine and search. Okay, Lou. You want to search Minecraft Transparent. Transparent. Oh, crap. Transparent. You can type Minecraft logo transparent. There you go. It should pop up logos like these. You can click on any of these you want. Just make sure it has a transparent background. Some of it looks like this. It looks like a uh, checkerboard. View original image. Same image. Alright, I'm back. I do not know why it took me so long to find this. <laughs> but. Pretty much what you want to do is put it near the top, bottom, whichever you want. You guys can be creative. And depending on how big you want it, in this case I'm going to shrink it. And shrink it a little bit more. And put it 800. There's uh, usually in GIMP there's usually a shrinking tool, but I like to use this. I find it easier. Um, after that... 
you can put either previous video random video or you can do previous video and future video on one side um, usually I like to use random and previous so in this case we're going to go and download some skins or well, not skins but uh, fonts for your outro you want to go to flamingtext.com and that will be in the description below and see I'm going to start creating a logo. One I like to use a lot is Roman. You just want to type whatever you want in here. In this case, I'll put previous video. Incorrect results returned. What? Alright, guys, I'm back. I do not understand why it wouldn't let me use that font but I like this font so we'll use this one instead you just want to go to background trans uh, transparent and this um whatever you want it to look like reflection makes a little reflection right here drop is sort of a shadow and glow makes a little outline like that and you can pick whatever you want right here in this case, I'm going to use do something like this. Black. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, black. Ah, uh, that looks good. Just want to create logo. Personal use. Do not use commercial use. Download download right here okay and then you just want to head back to GIMP open as layers find your um, your font and you want to if it's behind the background you might want to grab this and pull it up so where it shows and you're going to need to shrink that Alright, I'm back, and I've got the uh, size I want this to be. It is 525 by 63. Once you've got that, you want to, um, depends what, if you want a random video or a future video on this side. It's all up to you. But in this case, it's pretty, um, I'm just going to use previous video. Oh, snap, don't do that. Okay, after you got that done, you want export export to export it to this I'm going to call this outro tutorial you want to save it as a PNG there you go export it let it load you want to minimize out of this and this. You want to go to um, Sony Vegas. You want to import your image. Now that you've got that, you can put that right here. And you want to get the song of your choice. You can easily go on iTunes and just pull the song and place it on your desktop. In this case, I'm going to that and you want to get your song from the desktop and you want to pull it into here in this case I'm using approaching Nirvana's Mount Olympus once you've got that you want to find the part in your song that you want to, uh, your outro to be in this case I think I want it right here yes right there I'm gonna go back right before it's done and you want to click this and cut it and I'm going to save like, this part right here okay about right there I want 
to end. So we can cut that off and make it like that. Okay. This part, the reason I saved this part right here is this will be the song before um, the end of uh, almost the end of your video is over. What I like to do, um, if you want the music to shrink, you want to pull that down. And you want to pull this right here. Pull this back with the other. And you just want to make this uh, fade into. You want to pull this picture right there. Make it fade out. Fade. Alright. Alright, now that you've got the uh, placement all done, set up in Sony Vegas, if you want to, go and listen to it. And this will be your outro. If you want to place a video right under previous video where it's playing, like I do in my videos, you want to import your recent video. In this case, I'm going to use. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. In this case, I'm going to use. Uh, let's go ahead and use just time lapse. Okay. Put that in here. Press U to split the media um, from the volume. All that junk. Delete that. What you want to do is you want to pull this video down here. You want to put this video on top. Okay. And you want to find the part in your video that you want to play. In this case, I guess I'll just use the, uh, use the beginning. You want to cut it about where the um, the rest of the video ends. Cut that off. Make it fade. Make that fade. And cut that part off. Oh snap! All right. Now to shrink the image to where it will fit under previous video, you want to uh, click the crop image. You can go right here and you just want to pull out. And you see here it's shrinking. You want to place it under the previous video. Something like that. Okay, and then once you're finished, this is some of what your product will look like. Go and pull it right here. Alright, if you found this um, tutorial very helpful, please leave a like and please subscribe. I will be, I'm working on a time lapse right now, so stay tuned. See you guys.